Well, um, I started out um, right after college and everything. I was trying to become. If you, if it, I was trying to become a professional and everything after that, and then um, uh, things just wasn't working out. Things become um, expensive, you know. Yeah. So um, I decided to start looking for a regular job, and mm-hmm. in that time, I had some friends who were who were um, coaching and everything already. Yeah. And I went along with them basically to learn. Mm-hmm. And um, and soon after, I think about a year after, I decided to to apply for a coaching um, yeah. position. I think it was with a U8 and a U11 team. Okay. So I started off with two teams. And um, from there, I basically... Uh, really found a knack for coaching yeah it was just fun yeah um then after that uh, i became the director of that club after two years um and after the two years i was an assistant coach at a college as well um in terms of the individual half of it where i started to do more five training and stuff um it basically started out with one kid asking me, hey, uh, can I do some extra work yeah. with you? And I was like, uh, because if I'm being honest, I didn't know that private training was a thing mm-hmm. then. And um, and I was like, uh, okay. And <laughs> um, it kind of took off from there, basically. Okay, that sounds good. So tell us a bit about cruise coaching then. What does your business specialize in? So we kind of specialize in more one-on-one soccer training. Yeah. Um, but we do dibble in small groups as well. We try to keep our groups really small, um, no more than eight players, because um, mm-hmm. that way... We can really get involved with every kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. So, how many clients do you currently work with at the moment? Oh, that's a a rough estimate right now. About two hundred. About two hundred. Okay. Yeah. And is that is that two hundred you see every week? No. So I have another coach as well. Uh, yeah. He probably sees half of them, but. Mm-hmm. We don't encourage players to train every single week. So okay. most of our clients, um, they have a they have a players who need a little bit more work. Yeah, train a lot more. Okay, players who want to get extra touches and stuff like that. Yeah, they would probably train three to two times a month. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So since starting your business, like what's been your biggest obstacle you've faced with your, your business? Um, my biggest obstacle. Can I name like three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first one was finding good help. Um, when you're first starting out, especially it's kind of you kind of pulling every string. Right. Correct. Yeah. Um, and it can become exhausting, as, as, especially when the business starts to ramp up on you, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, secondly, would be finding the right coach. I don't know if that goes in the same line as, as the first one, but yeah. finding the right coach is always hard for me mm-hmm. because yeah. I got so used to doing everything on my own yeah. that trying to bring someone in mm-hmm. right was a bit of a transition for me yeah. so by me bringing them in and everything uh, I basically want them to coach 
like me, but yeah. then I kind of I kind of realized at a point that um that that wasn't necessarily possible and I really needed the coach to to learn and improve but also bring in his own style as well. Correct, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for any any coach that's going to be watching or listening to this, and that they're looking to bring someone on, how did you get your coaches up to up to the level that you wanted? So, uh, first thing first, uh, within the first month, we have a lot of meetings, right? Yep. Uh, and I would basically have that coach, um, um, shadow me, um, yep. and and kind of learn a little bit of how I not only coach, but mm-hmm. how I communicate and everything. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Then after that, um, I would also do the same thing for them as well. Okay. That's awesome. So, so where do you see private training going in the next two to, two to five years? Two to five years, I think it's going to keep exploding. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was very lucky to start off early. I feel like I was like maybe the fifth or sixth coach on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and now it's like it's exploded so much that it's like thousands really, which thousands, is really yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is really good. Which is really good. Yeah, so I see it in the next five years just ex- just exploding even more. Good, continuing to grow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, how long have you been in business so far? I've been in business. Well, I started coaching thirteen years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, Thirty three right now. Um, um, yeah. I I believe I was. I actually filed for an LLC in 2019, okay. but I've been doing the business maybe three years before that. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So, talk to us a little bit about what you look for when you bring on a new client into your into your training business. Okay. Um, one thing, the main thing I look for is if the player has goals, if the player has a great attitude. I don't think that. Um, I don't think that we can get a whole lot out of a training session if a player is training without any goals. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I, we either look for the goals or the player's attitude and everything as well, right? So yeah. if a player is is open to learning, um, mm-hmm. if the players understand how to actually learn, if the player is able to take constructive criticism and, and, yeah. and all that. If uh if the player is able to have fun yeah. as well. Because there's a lot of players out there who come to practices with a really angry demeanor about about themselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. And and what's your what's your current sales and marketing? How do you market? How do you get new clients? Where 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 are they coming from at the moment? Um, I would I would always say word of mouth. I think well, even if you have a pretty strong social media and all that, mm-hmm. word of mouth um is priceless, man. Yeah. It is it, it truly is. So um I, I would like to say that that's my main um my main source of mm-hmm. because whenever you're being um re- whenever you're being recommended by someone else yeah i feel like that's more powerful than someone looking at you from um social media or something correct correct and is there a specific thing you do every month to get more referrals that you can share um, with coaches? If I'm being honest, um, I've gotten to a point where 
I try to slow down the income of people okay. and try to focus on everyone I have. Mm-hmm. So I don't necessarily do a lot of marketing at, at this point yeah. Uh, yeah. because I feel like I have a good base of players. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I do want to grow and everything, mm-hmm. but um, right now it's me and one coach. I don't. I don't want to have us too overloaded. Um, yeah. We both currently do about six to eight sessions almost every day. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's a lot on us. And um, and um, so in terms of marketing, I just try to stay as active as I can online. Okay. Okay. Really good. So what? Where where do you see your business in the next? five years from now where would you yeah, like it to be the next five years from now so well i am actually looking for a facility right mm-hmm. now um i'm trying to purchase one i want to see it to a point where where we have our own home um yeah. i have maybe three to four coaches um i have a staff of people um um that I employ. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. You really good time. So, last question: um, What what would what's one piece of advice you would give any any trainer that hasn't yet started their business or is looking to to start it? What's one piece of advice you would give them? To start quickly. Start quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Start as quick as you can. Um, don't overthink things too much, um, because even if you think you're not such a great coach yet, right? Mm-hmm. I would say it started because the more practices you do, the more, uh, the more training sessions and everything, the better you will become. Yeah. Awesome. That's that's great advice. Perfect. All right, Cruz. Well, thanks for jumping on and sharing your sharing your story, sharing your journey with us. If there's any coach out there that, that wants to connect with you or learn more about your business, what's the best way to do that? Um, you guys can reach out to me at Cruise Coaching on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, mm-hmm. even on Pinterest as well, guys. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, well, thank you for, for jumping on Cruise and we'll speak very soon. All right, no problem, man. Thank you. Bye.